Hi guys, welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can build a phone calling application in your Android phone. Here is a quick demonstration. In this application, we have a button and a text view. You can see we can only enter numbers in our text view. So when we enter number and click the button, it calls. So now let's build the application. Let's design the layout first. For this project, I'm gonna use the linear layout. You can use any layout you want. Let's add a text view with a width match parent and the height wrap content. Give this text view an ID called number. Set the hint for this text view to phone number. Now we only want that user only enter numbers in our text view, nothing else. For that, we'll be using an attribute called input type and set the input type to phone number. So user can only enter numbers and give this text view a little bit of margin of 8 dB. Now let's create a button here. For this project, I'll be using an image button that will give us that round shape button. Make it in the center layout gravity center horizontal and the ID should be the call. Now we need a white calling image in our button. For that, go to the app folder. Inside the rest folder, you will find the drawable folder where we can store our assets. Right click on the drawable folder, choose new, choose vector assets. You will see the pop up window. Click here in the icon button and here the android studio gives here bunch of different assets you can choose any assets you want i am gonna choose this calling icon and click ok and then click next lastly click the finish button to import the assets i am not gonna click before i include the assets previously now in the attribute tab set the source type the drawable and that button for the round shaped button, I will be providing the link in the description. This part I will be explain in the later series. For now, import that series into the drawable folder. And set the background to it. The button is look very small. We need to increase the width and height. 56 dp would be perfect. that we have our layout ready let's go to the java file and let's start first we need to assign our variables with their following ids first let's do that Now let's call the set on click listener on this image button. When user click the button, we will store the number in a string variable. So let's create a string variable and store the value. And we will get the value from the edit text. So type phone dot get text dot to string. We need to intend services to pass that number into the calling action. For that, let's use intent, new intent. In the parameters, we'll call intent.callAction and the target that intent to set the data. Here, the data means the phone number that user have entered. So in the parameter, call URI.parse and in the single quotation, you have to type tail colon and then pass the phone number. Now we can call the start activity to pass the intent and finally complete our action. If we start the app now, the app gonna crash because we need to call the runtime permission here. If you run the app in a lower API levels like API 19, this nothing gonna happen. But in the higher APIs, we need to use the runtime permission. I will not show the runtime permission actions in this video. This will be the later part of the series. So let's go to the manifest file 
and here we can ask for the permissions that user need to enter now let's test the application